We've seen a major uptick in the velocity of investment sales in Southwest Florida. Why is that happening? We're gonna look at the story behind the story today. Welcome to What's Next in Commercial Real Estate. I'm Gary Tasman with Cushman and Wakefield Commercial Property in Southwest Florida. And today we're gonna to dig into kind of the story behind the story of why the, the investment market is so active in, in, in our area and really across the entire uh, state of Florida and, and most of the Sun Belt and really all of the United States. What's happening in, in the investment markets, and this is really from global capital flows all the way down to Southwest Florida, is first and foremost, there's more money in the economy than there's ever been. But part and separate from that, we were already growing the supply of money in the market and interest rates were low. So there's a very specific correlation between interest rates and investment assets or, or income streams. So when people buy a stabilized property, they're really what they're buying is an income stream. And it's what rate would you pay for that in income stream? It's based on the risk, the probability that the income stream is going to continue and grow. And it's also based on where else they can get a return on their money. So the, the higher the interest rates, the higher the cap rates, because you're chasing yield in many other different ways that cap rates have to compete with. Bottom line, the lower the interest rates, the higher value the properties because the more people are willing to pay for an income stream. And that's what we're talking about today. All of the properties in Southwest Florida that we're talking about today are stabilized income investments and we want to look at what the market's willing to pay for a good stabilized income stream. When you have a solid income stream, the price per square foot isn't necessarily the most, um, the most accurate measure of the value. It's how much you're going to pay for that income stream. So what we've seen is in Southwest Florida and really throughout Florida since the pandemic and the Sun Belt is real estate intrinsically is becoming more valuable because people want to be next to that investment real estate. So it makes it more valuable, makes businesses want to be there. And because of that, you can assume that those the risk of those income streams or those tenants staying in place and paying rent is lower, which means people are willing to pay more for it. So what I wanted to do today is just kind of show you what's really happening and what people are paying for these stabilized income investments in Southwest Florida. So I've broken it down into several different categories. We look at, at um, office, industrial, retail, and multifamily. What's happening is in the last 12 months, this market has seen three times the number of investment sales than it did the previous 12 months. So that's a statement of money chasing deals and people identifying Southwest Florida as a place to put their investments. That is solid for our long-term growth here. The office market, which most people around the country would say, well, it's, it's, it's dead. We don't know what's going to happen with more office. That in Southwest Florida has not been an issue. We've seen our office market continue to grow and the value of these assets, these office assets is going up because people are looking at the tenants that are paying the rent and underwriting the tenants and saying, you know what, as long as people come to Southwest Florida, we're going to need tenants like that and they're going to have to be housed in these kind of buildings. So we've seen the office market um, activity and the investment sales continue to grow. There's several examples of that that that. I'd like to really focus on, but the most important one is a building that I think everybody knows called the Terraces over at the corner of College and Winkler. That building transacted this year, earlier this year, for the first time in over 25 years. And it's a good reflection of the increased values and long-term sellers wanting to harvest that value and this being the right time in the cycle to do that. We've seen a multitude of retail, freestanding retail sales and a few even uh, multi-tenant 
um, non-anchored retail sales. So what I think you're going to see in that trend is the cap rates are very low because people are are spending money on consumer goods right now. And we still have a very strong bricks and mortar real estate market. So the cap rates on these freestanding um, uh, retail tenants are very, very low. They're secured by long-term stable income streams um, with strong credit behind them. In the multifamily market, the same thing. We thought before um, COVID that we were getting to a top in the multifamily market and maybe even pushing being overbuilt. But what we found in the last 12 or 18 months is not only as we build more communities, they get occupied right away, but the tenants are in position to pay rent. They're paying their rent. There's not a fear of the eviction moratorium going away and the tenants not being able to pay. So these multifamily investments are selling at very, very low cap rates, sometimes in the fours, which is again, an indication of how much confidence the market has in that income continuing to be stable and growing. Um, industrial, the same thing. We just sold an industrial park um, in South Lee County. It was a record low cap rate. Um, it was essentially fully occupied at the time of sale. And we there's many, many more examples of those types of properties selling immediately when they come to market. So in conclusion, what I'd like you to take away from this discussion is that because Southwest Florida is continuing to grow, because we're in an investment um, market cycle of low interest rates, where which everybody believes at this point is going to continue for a while, and because there's so much money in the market, if you're thinking about selling your income producing assets right now, if you have a shopping center, you've thought about selling, if you have an office building that it may be time to sell, right now is very, probably the best time I've seen in my 35 year career to monetize that asset at the highest possible prices. So give me a call, let's talk about it. Let's just talk about the market in general and um, let me help you evaluate what those assets could bring into the market today.